Ah. Yo, we talking about groceries on FBA. Ah. Yo, easy. Yeah. J to the O, the Mayos. Groceries on FBA. What you know about that? Hey everybody, Sean Mayo here. Uh, I just wanted to make a short video showing you how uh, we create uh, a new t-shirt with merch. Um, of course, you do have to be pre-approved. There is an invitation system. Uh, you don't have to be invited, but uh, you should just apply. If you haven't applied already, uh, just go and apply. Uh, because, you know, sometimes people wait up to a few months to get in. And now... Uh, so, if you're watching this video, you haven't applied, uh, just go and request your invica invitation, create your account, and then, uh, you know, when you are ready, you'll be all set up. Um, now, if you already have an account, uh, of course, we need to sign in. You just go to merch.amazon.com. Uh, I'm using my wife's account, uh, so there are uh, zero things here, so you don't have to see all my designs. Um, when you start out, you have zero uh, products, uh, live of course, uh, and you're limited to 25 designs. Uh, so usually when you have sold around 25, they'll raise you up to 100. Uh, there's some that have limits of several thousand. And uh, just like selling an FBA, uh, the limit uh, you know continues to rise as you uh, sell more and more product. Uh, you know, so it's a very simple setup. Uh, when you're ready to go, you can either click on add a product or upload finished artwork. It uh, takes you to the same spot. Uh, and here is our screen. Um, you do have uh, templates, which I highly suggest you use. Um, when you're ready, you can just click upload here. You can do a front and a back or just the front or just the back, whatever you, uh, uh, whatever you want to do. Of course, if you do front and back, uh, the price does go up. Uh, so uh, this is the page for the uh, templates. So if you want to get to that screen when you're on the upload page, you just click on templates. It's going to take you right to it. Uh, so here we have a template for Adobe Illustrator, Adobe Photoshop, or GIMP, whatever uh, tool you're using. Uh, and if you're using another tool, if you can read those files, um, you know, an AI or a PS or, um, or a GIMP file. Uh, so here we are showing you the artwork specifications. Create an artboard 15 inch by 18 inch with a transparent background. Place and scale artwork anywhere on the artboard. Export uh, artwork as an SGH, uh, sorry, SRGB PNG file at 300 DPI with a uh, transparent background. And it has to be uh, 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. Uh, and there's a limit of 25 megabytes. Uh, so when we go to upload, uh, I'll show you how that works. Um, I'm going to upload a file that's incorrect. So you can see what happens when uh, you upload the wrong file. Uh, so we're just going to click on upload. Uh, so as you can see here, it uh, will tell you the dimensions are wrong, bad dimensions, file should be 4500 by 5400 pixels. And then when we select the correct one, uh, you'll see once it finally uploads, uh, transparent background, so whatever color shirt you put it on, uh, it's going to have a different um, you know, it won't have a white or whatever color you used. And then you can also um, put another file on the back, and the back file is the same size. It's just placed a little higher. Uh, and then uh, you click Save Selection and Continue. Uh, so here we can pick five shirt colors, and you can hover over it to see what it looks like. Now, as you can see, we have black, uh, a lot of black writing and orange, so the dark colors... Uh, don't work out well for it, of course, not even the dark blue, uh, but the lighter colors uh, do. Uh, so uh, things like yellow, gray, um, you know, a light blue, 
you know, the lighter green, but it depends on what, uh, you know, and a white one. And it depends on what your, um, you know, your design looks like, but you can see what they all look like here. Um, now, as you can see, there are two different styles. Uh, you can use the American apparel, apparel which is what uh, we use. It's a little bit better grade shirt. Uh, the anvil is cheaper. Um, as you can see, your royalty is only eight eighty nine on uh, uh, 1999 um, but it's 739 um, so it's uh, it cost a dollar fifty more for that better shirt uh, but that's what we prefer to use and then <clears throat> of course you can use uh, it at any price um, you want I think we set this one to ten dollars so we only make about 30 cents on it so um, you know of course you can set any price you want and uh, it's going to show you uh, what your royalties are going to be. Uh, so, you know, for the regular price shirts, we stick to around $19.99. You can go from anywhere from $19.99 to $20.99. Uh, there is a $50 limit. So, uh, you know, if you have a premium shirt or raising money for something, you may be able to go higher. Um, but, of course, you can't go uh, below the, the bare minimum um, So for this one to break free, uh, break even, you have to have an eleven twenty nine uh, price, and if you set it to nineteen ninety nine, we're gonna get uh, seven dollars and thirty nine cent royalties. Uh, so once you selected your shirt, your colors, uh, your price, look at your previews, you can uh, click save and continue. Uh, and here we go on to. Uh, the product uh, names. Uh, now you can uh, select a different brand name for each item, uh, each shirt you list, or you can keep them all together, however you want to do it. Uh, now, unlike Amazon, there are no keywords. Again, you can uh, change your list price on this page. You can also go back still. Um, And there are no uh, places to do keywords unlike uh, your Amazon listings. Uh, but what you can do is put your keywords in the product features uh, as well as the description. So these are actually going to be the bullet pointed product features that you see on any Amazon listing. Uh, but you just have to be creative. So don't, you know, put a bunch of keywords in. Um, but actually make it, uh, you know, look and sound right because, you know, Amazon is looking for, um, you know, words that go together. They, they're very good at pulling keywords and doing searches. And if you don't make it look right, uh, people just aren't going to like that listing. Uh, now, uh, as you can see the bullet points down here, what's automatically included is for every shirt, and you can search for this information, and you can see every merch shirt that's ever been, uh, uh, that's ever listed on Amazon. So as you can see, I put in some uh, great keywords uh, that's going to come up when people are looking for sourcing, Amazon FBA, uh, you know, things like that, searching for my group name, my name, uh, all these things are going to come up in the listing. And of course, you're going to put whatever uh, is related to uh, the idea that you come up with for a shirt. And here's a preview, so you can do it two ways, as samples, which is going to um, only allow people with the link uh, to be able to buy it, or if you click on Sell Public on Amazon, it's going to um, come up in the searches uh, 
an Amazon would just have most of them that you're going to want to do with. Um, here's your preview. Uh, and then we just uh, click on Submit Product. It'll ask to make you sure that you're sure. And uh, your item has been created. Uh, it'll say Started Process. Once complete, um, we'll send you an email with the status. And then... Um, once it goes live, uh, it will look like this. Uh, you cannot promote products here. That's only for promoting in apps, but you can do things like uh, promote products in your, um, on Facebook. Uh, we do uh, Facebook ads on uh, our other account. Um, and that's all there is to it.